Life in Student Ministry. Conversation among youth workers. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to another Life in Student Ministry video post. I want to introduce you guys to a friend of mine named Jonathan McKee. He recently wrote a new curriculum called Real Conversations and it's really good. I had some input into it as he was creating it and it's a four part video series you guys should check out, link below. But I asked him a couple questions related to evangelism because that's something that's really important for us in our youth groups and three questions actually and I want to share with you his responses to each of those. The first one is I asked him, like, Jonathan, how can we help our kids? kids bring up their faith in their day-to-day -day conversations with their friends. And here's what Jonathan had to say. I think the best way we can help our teenagers do this is first by helping them actually live out a real faith, an authentic faith. Because a real faith opens the door to real conversations. Um, I think that a lot of kids, if they actually start living out, that their friends might notice it. They might maybe even have an opportunity to ask them, hey, something's different about you. Um, in, in my new curriculum, I tell a story about my daughter Alyssa, how she was just having a conversation with one of her friends. And uh, as she was talking with her friend, her friend actually noticed kind of something different in her life. And she says, her friend said, you're religious, aren't you? And Alyssa said, oh, well, yeah, I have a relationship with God. And, and her friend ended up asking her about that. See, and that probably brings up the other key to this question is listening. It started not with Alyssa going, hey, do you want to hear about my faith? It started with Alyssa listening to her friend. And as she listened to her friend, and Alyssa's living an authentic life, being a friend, truly listening, that led to her friend eventually asking her, so what about you? you you've got a faith, right? Tell me about it. And that led to a real conversation. That is really good advice. And I know most of us watching this video, we really do want our kids to be living their faith authentically in front of their friends on a daily basis. And now it's even more important than ever before because now it's just not about our kids' relationship with God, but that their friends' eternal destiny may be at stake based on the way our youth group kids are living their faith in front of them. But something happens, sometimes a kid may try to take a time or two and then just kind of give up after the first or second attempt. So I asked Jonathan and said, hey, how can we as youth workers help our kids not just try a time or two and give up, but just kind of keep going even after those, after those initial attempts? And here's what Jonathan had to say. That's a good question. I think most teenagers quit because they've had such bad experiences. Uh, think about it. If a teenager goes to a training and he's told to go do some confrontational evangelism where you walk up to a stranger and say something like, if you were to die tonight, where would you go? You're going to have a lot of negative experiences with that. You're going to have a lot of people saying, get out of my face, go away. And you know, after so many of those negative experiences, it probably wouldn't take too many before you get frustrated and want to quit. So one way is if we can actually equip teenagers how to have normal conversations and how to live an authentic faith and, and uh, how to look for open doors and, and as we... Teach, train, you know, teach or train teenagers to do this, they're not going to be so frustrated with these, you know, with this confrontational evangelism that, that leads to very poor results. Greg Steer from daretoshare.org, um, he talks about in, in some of the training he does, um, how groups can also be encouraging to each other. How like a small group of Christians can bring up, hey, how did it go this week? and they can share, oh, I was sharing with my friend and, and here's what happened. And they kind of share these victory stories. And when you share with friends about that, there's accountability to it. So it's neat to get some authentic training that really helps you look for these open doors, um, have some successful um, experiences and then share those with others. Yeah, I totally agree. I find that in my own life that if I'm praying and asking the Lord say, hey, provide those open doors for me, show me those opportunities that I should be taking, that is one prayer that the Lord answers for me every single time. So a lot of us I know, maybe we don't talk about evangelism a whole lot at our youth groups for various different reasons. So I asked Jonathan and I said, one, why should we talk about evangelism? And two, how do we even get started with talking about it if we haven't talked about it before? And here's what Jonathan had to say. Good two-part question. Uh, first, uh, you know, why should you? Well, one is because, you know, the Bible says we should. It says go and make disciples. Um, that's not just decisions, by the way. It's actually, you know, help introducing people to Jesus and then helping them grow in their faith, discipling him. So part of, you know, one of the reasons we should do that is because God says so, but also because, um, I tell you, youth leaders, one of the best ways we can help kids grow in their faith is evangelism. Think about it. If we get kids to have these conversations with their friends, 
nothing's going to drive them to the word faster than their friends to ask them questions that they can't answer and they have to dig through and look for the answers for. Nothing's going to help them motivate them to live a more authentic life than when their friends are watching the way they're acting every day. Evangelism is an amazing spiritual growth tool. Um, but you asked, uh, how do you get started? Well, a good way to get started is, is with curriculums like this one, Real Conversations, or curriculums like, you know, Greg Steer's uh, uh, Gospel Journey Maui. Get one of these curriculums, get something like that, or you yourself, if you have some um, teaching you can do on it, equip our kids how to do this and, and start um, letting them know what it really looks like. Evangelism isn't just a bunch of gimmicks and tricks and, uh, you know, confrontational, make people mad, but having these real conversations with our friends and, and what that actually looks like uh, when we live out the hope and people ask us about that hope and we can verbalize it and explain what Jesus has done for us. What Jonathan said is so key. A lot of us, we really want to disciple our kids, but sometimes we forget that the very first step in discipling a non-Christian kid is evangelism. Tell them about Jesus. And then if we want our Christian kids to become more discipled, I think we have to remember that becoming more Christ-like doesn't mean we just remove more and more sin from our lives, but it means adopting the very heart that Christ had. And if we look at Christ's heart, the very reason he came to earth in the first place was because he had a burden for lost souls. And we need to really adopt that same burden that Jesus has as well. So how do you get started? Started. Jonathan mentioned some tools and there's a lot of them out there. If you want to check out Jonathan's, there's a link to it below. And actually, if you'd like to win a free copy, if you see this video before April 13th, you can enter his contest to get a copy of it for free. And it's a great curriculum. It's uh, four episodes with a lot of good teaching stuff built in. You watch a video, you talk about it, you teach about it a lot. It's really good and uh, I recommend it. So the link's to that below, but also click this little video here if you're watching this on YouTube and you can kind of go straight to his video kind of talking about about his uh, contest and more information about the contest is below as well. To win this for free, that'd be awesome. I mean, if you can get it for free, why wouldn't you? So <laughs> go check out that video, links below as well to go check out Jonathan's new evangelism curriculum called Real Conversations. You'll definitely wanna see it. And guys, thanks for hanging out with us again for another Life and Student Ministry video post. I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Thanks for watching this video from Life and Student Ministry. Find us online at studentministry.org and facebook.com slash studentministry.